Good morning, everybody. How you going? Happy Tuesday, guys. Uh, just bear with me. As you know, we are here for our business growth insights training this Tuesday morning. Welcome, welcome. Uh, this is where we come live every single Tuesday morning into our um, Confident Successful Business Owners group and we give you some really tangible training that you can take and implement into your business. Now, just bear with me, guys. I'm just checking to see that I'm live. Yes, I am. Awesome. And even better, that means that I can see your comments. <laughs> so that's great. All righty, guys. So um, I'll just wait. Um, I'm sure we'll have a few people popping on shortly. Um, I hope that you guys have had a fantastic weekend and an even better Monday, a great start to your week. We're going to talk today about how to help you uh, grow your social media. We're going to talk about some powerful uh, strategies that you can implement into your social media and grow your business and grow your client base, which is what we all want to do, isn't it? Now, guys, if you are watching the replay, pop hashtag replay. Uh, those who are coming on live, say good day. You know, guys, I love to feel like we are in the room together rather than me talking to my computer um, my, my computer camera is what I'm trying to say. Good morning, beautiful Parme. How are you? My beautiful assistant. Um, now, guys, um, if you would like, just like Parme's name, if you would like your name to come up on the screen so we know who you are, um, just um, go into the description above and you will see a little link for StreamYard. Click on that. Give StreamYard permission to see your name and then we will know who's commenting when I bring it up on screen like that because I love to do that. So, again, if you're jumping on, um, say good day. I can see there's a few people watching. And we are absolutely going to talk about some really powerful strategies this morning on um, how to build and grow your social media. So without any further ado, I'm going to get straight into it today. Um, okay, let me just do my little techie things. Here we go. All right. So <laughs> this is really interesting. When I, I was kind of thinking about the background of social media and even I went back to, you know, 30 years ago when I first started running my own business. Um, there was no internet back then, guys, and this is, yes, this is showing my age and that's fine. Um, there was no internet back then. There was no social media back then. We didn't have, um, Facebook. We didn't have anything like that. Okay. So what I love now and, you know, coming back into the entrepreneurial world, um, five or six years ago, wow, what an incredible game changer this social media tool is that we all have at our disposal. Okay? It is one of, when utilized correctly, it is one of the main ways to gain clients in this day and age. So this is why I'm excited to come and share with you these strategies to help you grow your business. Um, but I want to, and, and I just, I can see there's a heap of people jumping on. Say good day. Um, I want to see who's watching. Um, so before I get into the strategies, I want to address one question that I get asked a lot um, when I'm chatting with people. And that is, do you need to be on all platforms at once, as in all social media platforms at once? Now, to start with, or I'm actually just going to say, no, you don't need to be on every single social media platform all at once because there are so many, <laughs> there are so many social media platforms. Um, they're going to differ from business to business, okay? And there, there's more getting added every day, okay? So I'm going to say no, and especially when you're starting business, no. I would say definitely don't go on to all social media platforms or multiple social media platforms. Now, a lot of people are going to say, I disagree with that. Let me explain to you why, particularly when you're starting a business, the answer, I believe the answer is no. I believe that it is more pertinent to start with one social media platform, get to know that one, practice your strategies on that one, implement your strategies that we're going to talk about today, and then Take it to take those strategies to another platform. Yes, you are going to have to adapt them slightly for every platform. But this is why I suggest my personal suggestion is start 
with Facebook. Now, the reason for that is because Facebook is such a powerful tool, it gives you literally everything you need to begin your business. And this is essentially, you know, where I started running my whole entire business coaching business was on Facebook. Yes, we have other social media platforms now that we have gradually implemented and we're adding more all the time. However, we only started with Facebook. We only started with one. And so it was a lot easier on the brain as well. And so, like I said, as add others as you are able to, as you feel that you can with your time, your understanding, and with your strategies that you're using. Now, also, with these, like I said, there are multiple social medias out there. And this is why I say, no, you don't need to be on all of them because they're going to differ from business to business, okay? All these um, businesses are different. And so you have to make sure that the ones that you're choosing to go on suit you, okay? So that's my that's the answer to that question, <laughs> right? Now, let's have a look at some strategies. Um, oh, here we go. <laughs> I forgot this. So uh, multiple social media platforms allows, yes, that's right. You say, for instance, and we've had this happen, uh, when one platform goes down, at least you can go to the other ones. And let me tell you a story. I had this big webinar that I was um, that I was going to due to do that morning. And I don't know, I don't know when it was, I can't remember, but it was uh, about a year and a half ago now and Facebook went down that morning. And I've gone, oh no, what am I going to do? Facebook, as I said, is the main tool that I use. What am I going to use to get hold of my clients? So, you know, the, the webinar, um, attendees to let them know it's on thankfully i had email addresses i had you know instagram and we had linkedin and a bunch of other social media platforms which then we could go and utilize to let those people know so that's another reason you want to have multiple social media platforms eventually okay all righty okay let's get on with some strategies now so first thing i would suggest is when you are on social media, and let's talk about this as if you are, maybe you've got two or three different platforms now, okay? We don't want to overwhelm you by saying, you know, you know, 10. Let's say two or three different pl platforms. And let's use Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn, okay, as, uh, as examples. Now, create a consistent brand, brand presence, <laughs> we'll get it out in a minute, across all the platforms. So what you want to do is you want people to sit to instantly like see you on these differing platforms and go, oh yeah, I know who that is. Yes, I followed them. I follow them on Facebook, so I'll follow them on LinkedIn as well, or follow them on Insta, Insta as well, which is great. It's a really easy way when you have brand consistency to grow your following when you start a new platform because people will see you, and a lot of the times, um, the same people will see you. Of course, yes, new people will find you as well, which is, of course, what you want. You want to grow your following. So use the same visuals. When I say be consistent across all platforms, um, I mean use the same visuals, the same um, headshots, the same photo, uh, the same branding, the same tone, okay? So you're using the same tone to speak to people. It may differ slightly from platform to flat platform. To give you an example, you've got Facebook and LinkedIn who run very, very similar to each other. So Facebook is more casual. LinkedIn, as I've heard it described, which I think is a really uh, smart way to describe it, it's Facebook in a suit. And it is. So you kind of need to change the tone slightly, but you still want to keep it within your brand. Let me know if this is making sense to, sense to you. I'd love to hear in the comments what your thoughts are on this, okay? Now the next one is with your when you're when you're creating this consistent brand brand presence, you've got the visuals happening, you've got the tone happening, people are recognizing you. It really does, you know, it helps build trust with your audience connection. Um, like I this small only this morning I was looking at uh, LinkedIn and I saw um, Mel Robbins, who I follow on all the platforms. I absolutely love what Mel Robbins does. And 
it was interesting knowing that I was going to talk about this and I, you know, I'd recently seen something she put on Facebook and then I've looked at this a post that she's put on LinkedIn um, and it's, again, it's just slightly different. Not a lot, but she knows. She's talking to people, you know, she's talking to Facebook people in a, in a suit. And so it really, for me, when I saw that, not only did I recognise her, but I was like, oh, good, okay, so she's trusting it. She's understanding us. She's she's resonating with us, okay? So I hope that makes sense to you. Now, the next one is create engaging content, okay? Guys, if you don't create engaging content, people just aren't going to want to see more. They're not going to want to hear more or know more about you. So it needs to be engaging enough for them to want to go, yeah, I need, I want to or I need to keep reading that or keep watching that. So be sure to resonate. Resonate with your target audience. Now, I've spoken about this on multiple times, right? We all need to have a target audience and you can't just say everybody. If you are trying to resonate with everybody, you're going to resonate with nobody because you're going too broad. So you have to bring it down, okay? And this is something that I love to teach my clients in the Heart and Soul Business Academy is how to bring it down into your suitable niche, all right, your target audience. So you want to make sure that when you're going out there, you are, you know, that content that you're putting out to is speaking to them. It's speaking to what they want to hear, what they want to read. Hi, everybody. I can see that Jill's watching, Brooke's watching, Erin's watching, Benita's watching. Hi, everybody. Love to see you here. Now, again, use a mixture when, um, as well as using a mixture of platforms when you can, use a mixture of formats as well. Now, yes, people, um, are, you know, and I've said this multiple times as well, videos are powerful. Videos are what will get you uh, a lot more reach at the moment. Reels, reels are huge. Uh, we're finding that we're, we're implementing a lot of reels at the moment and yet the reach is incredible with those reels because they, they, are, they have become the main part of uh, Instagram and now Facebook more and more. Again, slight, slightly differing between the two flat platforms. You would think they're the same, but there's a little bit of difference, okay? But don't just use videos and reels. Use infographics as well, you know. You can use them in stories. Use, uh, we call them static posts. So use pictures, just pictures, not videos. Mix it up. You know, some people don't like to watch videos or some people aren't don't resonate as much with the reels as videos, some people just still like a good post. They just like to a good post, you know, a good picture. So make sure that you're mixing it up a little bit. Um, you know, you don't want people to go, oh, my God, I'm just sick of seeing all these, these funky videos, <laughs> right? Um, so give them some infographics. Give them some, some posts. Give them some reels every now and then. Give them some videos. There's multiple ways on how to do it. And, again, this is what I love to teach my people in the Heart and Soul Business Academy. And as well as that, so, <laughs> Pame, you are, you're on it, girlfriend. Engagement is important. Engagement is important and so is interaction. So make sure that you are interacting with your audience as well, okay? Not just um, putting the posts up and I call it dump, dumping and running. Don't just dump a post in a group and then go into the next group, dump another post in there and don't just leave it. Encourage interaction. We've all heard about having calls to action, right, at the end of your posts and, you know, on everything you do. And I love the quote is that whenever you're putting something out, out there about your business, give every piece of content a job to do and put a call to action on it. But you also want to encourage, encourage that interaction. And this is what a call to action does. And it doesn't always have to be buy my stuff. It can be pop a GIF below, comment on this below. It can be all types of stuff. So by encouraging interaction, and this is what I love, this helps you to get to know your audience, but it also helps your audience to get to know you. 
So it definitely works both ways. And it's really, really exciting when you start to get that interaction with your followers because you know that you're, it's like you know that you're clicking with them and they're starting to click with you. So make sure that you, you know, don't just dump and run, interact with people and encourage the interaction, encourage them to interact with you. Now, hashtags, let's talk about hashtags. Now, guys, this one, this actually took me a while to get my head around. Um, a bit like Reels. <laughs> Reels took me a while to get my head around as well. Um, but the hashtags have gone, oh, okay, and it has clicked now. Now, now that it's clicked, right? Hashtags are a really powerful way of gaining new followers, right? It does increase the chance of new followers. You wouldn't think that putting a little hashtag does, but it does because people search for certain things. They know what they're searching for and the hashtags are what will help them find you, okay? So you can use um, hashtags that are relevant to your industry. So for me, uh, for example, it's hashtag small business coach or hashtag small business startups or something like that because those you know those are the people that I want to talk to okay hashtag work from home is another one so I'm making sure that whenever I'm using those hashtags they're relevant to my industry and rel also relative to uh, what I'm talking about as well so it's not just the industry but it's also what I'm talking about in that post. So you'll see that sometimes when I put a post up, the hashtags are always slightly different. So you might do something I teach on is hashtag strategic planning. So I'll put a hashtag strategic planning on this particular post that I'm talking about, about planning. So when people search that, they'll find the post, they'll, you know, interact with it, resonate with it, and I'll interact with that with those followers as well. As well as staying relevant to your industry, you can actually create your own branded hashtags. And again, this will help you, uh, you know, help you get to be known. So we have a hashtag Heart Soul Business Academy. And we have another one uh, which we don't use as much now, Heart and Soul Virtual Expo. Okay, so we've created our branded hashtags for our particular business, which is really, really exciting. So do this. And even though you might think, well, what's the point? Because a lot of people aren't going to search for my um, my hashtags, but it will give you this simple little thing. Well, people will end up searching for them. Those who follow your content and want to know more about your content, um, but it, it'll just give you that little bit more credibility as well. Okay, so hashtags, use them. They're fun. They're simple, and they're there. They're there to use. So you can see by all of these, and there's a couple more to come, but you can see by all of these, these are really, they're not really hard things to implement into your business, but they are powerful and they will help your, uh, your following grow. Now, on these different social media platforms, you will be able to have data. After a little while, the data will come. And generally it takes about... I don't know, a couple of weeks to a month when you start on these social media platforms before the, um, there's enough data in the background for you to go and have a look at, okay? So if you've been on social media for a little while, let's talk Facebook again. If you've been on Facebook for a little while, you've got a business page, you will have data to be able to analyse. Um, if you uh, have your um, profile, and we've talked about this before, if you have your profile in professional mode, then you will have data to analyze. And when you do that, it is absolutely powerful. You can track your performance on each platform. So you can see, you know, who's interacting, um, how many reactions you're getting, what time of day people are interacting. So the, what's the best time to post? There's all this kind of powerful data that when you utilize it correctly, oh, my God, you your following is going to explode. So track the engagement, track, track the reach, track the conversion rates, okay? So what kind of content are you putting up that people are reacting to? If you're putting up some stuff and people aren't reacting to it, then it's time to maybe adjust it a little bit. Think about why aren't they reacting to it? 
Are you speaking to that target audience of yours? All these questions that need to be answered while you're analysing this data. So like this says, use it to clearly understand your audience. The more you, the more data you collect, uh, the more powerful it's going to be. And like I said, you, you, your audience will go, we, we like it or we don't, <laughs> right? And if you can see that they're not resonating with it, then it's, then the, all sometimes it just takes is a little adjustment, not a big one, a little adjustment and that's it. And so refine your strategies, change your content up. Like I said, just that little change. It doesn't have to be huge. And we have, you know, in our business, we have built our brand up over the last two years. And Parme <laughs> will tell you, <laughs> and and even Z, um, our our newest part of the team, Z will both Parme and Z will tell you that we have gone through multiple phases of our brand to get it to now where we are very happy with it and we're very comfortable with it and we feel that it really sits where it needs to be. So we're, we're not only refining our brand, but we're refining our strategies on how we put things out there. And yes, we're using that data and how to do that. So make sure that don't ignore data. I mean, look, I know it's not fun, <laughs> right? Data, the word data and analyze, they're not fun words in business or not for me anyway. Um, but don't ignore it because it will help you. It absolutely will help you. Now, we've already talked a little bit about this. So build community and build uh, and grow interaction. So engage with your audience. Like I've said, um, when you are, you know, when you're doing a live this, say g'day to people. Um like I've said to you guys, you know, if you're watching the replay, pop hashtag replay. If you're watching live, say good day because, you know, really, if I wasn't engaging with you guys, you'd be bored to tears. You know, I want to feel like we're all in the room together. That's not just something I say. That's something that I really mean. I do. <laughs> I want to be in the room together. You know, something that I think we all felt over COVID was a little bit lonely. And I don't want to feel lonely anymore. I want to say hi to you all. <laughs> so engage with your audience. Um, yes, you can do it live, but you can still engage with posts as well. And this is, you know, um, reacting, um, commenting, asking open-ended questions, giving that call to action, all that type of stuff. Okay. So initiate conversations and ask for feedback. So don't be afraid to initiate conversations. Don't think, don't be afraid to ask people, um, like I said, open-ended questions. Again, this will help you, help give you uh, more data or you could call it, you know, market research. This will help you with market research. Again, it will help you when they um, answer your conversations, reply and, and, you know, they develop a conversation with you. When you get feedback, it will help you figure out what exactly your target audience wants as well as what they need okay so initiate the conversations um I, i'm going to say though and i'm just going to pop this out there one thing i don't recommend that you do is just blindly message someone and go here hi how you going um this is what i do book in a free call or buy my stuff don't do that because it doesn't work because you're not having a conversation with someone you're not building that interaction. It feels desperate and you don't want to do that. So you want to also, by building the community, by building the interaction, by growing your group, if you haven't got a Facebook group, I would strongly suggest you did one. We help um, in the Biz, Heart and Soul Business Academy to help people um, monetize, start their group and how to monetize their groups. Now, you also want to encourage when you do that, when you're doing all these things, right, you're building the community, you're, you're having, you're interacting with people. What it does is it really does help word of mouth marketing, right? Yes, there is so, still such a thing. Even when you get people, oh, my God, I've just found this new incredible business group, Confident Successful Business Owners. Guys, the group, the group is rocking. You need to come over and join it. And I've had a lot of people join my 
both my expo group and my um, and the the group we're in now, confident successful business owners. I've had multiple people join this group because people have gone away and told them, "Oh my God, they have free training every Tuesday morning." So it's word of mouth marketing is what helping is what will help build your community. It's that genuine interaction at <laughs> what I'm sure to say, genuine interaction rather than that feeling of desperation and please buy my stuff. Okay. So I hope that makes sense to you all. Now, guys, I did come live uh, in the group yesterday and I want to share with you now. And let me know, you know, if you um, have enjoyed today and you know you've you've been implementing these strategies or let me know what ones you're going you've taken away today that you're going to implement in the future because I'm sure that you will. And as I said, oh, yesterday I came live because it was my birthday yesterday. And we have a really incredible special going on because it's my birthday in the Heart and Soul Business Academy, where we are now giving you for the next, uh, it's just less than the next 24 hours, 10% off the entire Heart and Soul Business Academy course. So this is incredible. And not only that, and I should have put this on screen, but I didn't. Not only that, but we are also giving you um, a one-on-one -on -one business coaching session with me that goes for 60 minutes. Guys, you can get a lot of stuff done. Uh, we can get a lot of stuff done and then you can get a lot of help for your business in 60 minutes. And this is valued, this call alone is valued at $350. So not only are you getting 10% off the whole entire course of the Heart and Soul Business Academy, you're also getting a $350 gift for me from me with a uh, one hour coaching call. So I'm really, really excited to be offering that to you. Guys, if you would like to um, grab hold of this opportunity, pop the word birthday in the comments and we will be in touch with you very soon so that you can um, find out a way in how to get um, immediate access into the academy. Now, or if you book a call with me to get more information, if you book it before 8 a.m. tomorrow morning, you are still eligible for this special, okay? But you need to book that call before the end of this week, all right? So very exciting. I love the fact that it's my birthday and I get to give all the presents. I think that's really cool. <laughs> um, it's not my birthday anymore, so that was yesterday. Um, but, you know, I love it because my birthday coincides with uh, with all the Black Friday and Cyber Monday specials. So I went, you know what, I'm going to do a birthday special instead and give you the presents. So, again, 10% off, guys, um, and plus a $350 gift from me of a one-on-one -on -one coaching session for 60 minutes with me. Um, if you would like more information, pop the word birthday in the comments. If you're watching the replay, pop hashtag replay. And I look forward to seeing you all in the Heart and Soul Business Academy very, very soon. And also we will see you next Tuesday for another Business Growth Insights training. All right. Bye, everybody. Mwah.